There is a being out there, beyond reason and logic, beyond science and intelligence, beyond your wildest beliefs. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you, really? I'm fucking God! <laughs> I don't even want you eating those. Why not? Adam see pretty colors when he eats those. There are some things you should absolutely not eat. Hmm? How dare those sons of bitches try to kill me? Me! God! I need to start from the beginning again. I'm planning on destroying the world, and I've selected you to survive. You're gonna have to build a boat big enough to destroy two of every species of every animal. Sorry, honey. The Lord has called upon me. I'll remember you in my prayers. No, no, no. Your family will live on, too. I totally understand if the wife and kids gotta go. No, no, hey, no, no, wait, no sacrifice is too big for the Almighty! What are those two things in the front? Floodlights. You can't keep destroying the world over and over again. Hey, I want a world of people who love me and worship me. Oh. Oh. Not people who want me dead. There has to be some people down there who love you. His name's Abraham. This guy worships me. But I want to test him anyway. The Lord said I must make the ultimate sacrifice. What? Bathe? I want you to kill your son, Isaac. Okay. Okay! Why do you have to test someone if you know the outcome? Don't question me. I'm God. <gasps> what kind of asshole kills his own son? But you told me to. It was a test, you dumb shit! Oh, Father. You can't imagine the pretty colors one sees when blood drains out of you. That's joke. Now there's a man who loves me sincerely. Oh, come on. Let's bet. Bet on what? That if I take away all his good fortune and his wealth, he'll still worship me. You did this to me? Well, of course. You did. Nothing you've ever created has worked out the way you planned. He needs to be taught a lesson. I'm God. Nothing can kill me. Who are those guys? The only things that can truly wipe you off the face of the earth. Every day he gets weaker and we get stronger. <laughs> I have been thinking way too small. <sighs> yes, it's true, my dear. You're about three months long. I'm not ready to settle down with a kid. But what am I going to tell Joseph? He's a spiritual man. He'll accept it. You whore. Take this, all of you, and drink. For this is my blood. <laughs> You don't still want me to go through with that idiotic thing, do you? Why not just say that the crucifixion really happened just the way you planned it? By the time the book is published, everyone that could refute it will be dead. They'll take your senseless death and put some kind of meaning into it, which you and I both know there is none. We're calling it the submissive Jesus prayer answering talking head. Now they're making a mockery out of us? Turn the other cheek. What a stupid ass thing to say! You are never to interfere with humans again. If I refuse, then you die tonight. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Who would want to ridicule God? God is perfect!